Malaysia, a big country which develops in technologies very fast and consumes more electricity to produce a day for the buildings and other. Today, we can see that many waste material in this world, such as household waste, agriculture drawings, that are too many, which they just left it without any action to be taken. Then, Forest also has waste materials such as log and wood which is left in the forest. Then we can see that there are many wood being set at forests with nothing activity to produce it. So this waste material we can replace it and reduce it with the biomass power plant technology line which we can combine, we can collapse all the waste material to make it as a generator to reduce our waste energy in this world because now nowadays this world has been sick and very get older older and older so this is our chance to make this world become healthy and make people live in a beautiful place An engineering service which offers safety technical qualifications experience and internationalization to our clients for all those who entrust us with their investments. In KTM has played a key role in their design construction and startup of the biomass power plant, a trio team Trovelega. This has resulted in the creation of 25 jobs directly linked to the operation of the plant and over 100 indirect jobs. By using forest biomass, the risk of forest fires is reduced. The power plant occupies an area of 26,700 square meters and there is enough biomass is stored inside the main seal hole. For 6 days of uninterrupted, FI will design 8 of the heart of the system a new generation arc, where tubular biomass boiler. This system is designed to produce 10 megawatts of electricity with an annual biomass consumption over 100,000 tons. The fuel is brought to the boiler. It is then introduced into the combustion chamber where it releases heat as it burns. This in turn heat water in tube that line the boiler. The hot water is then sent to, the, to a tank where it turns into steam. The steam drives a turbine which turns a generator. In the generator, the interaction between the electromagnet of the moving water and copper coil is the stationary stator, produce an electric current. A transformer is used to increase the voltage of this current to 225,000 or 400,000 volts. This makes it easier to transport, to transport in the network very high voltage lines. The steam from the turbine passes through a condenser in which cool water circulates. This cool the steam, turning it back in the water. It is then sent back to the boiler. This steam can also be used either for industrial activity or to supply an urban heating network. Uh, the simultaneous production electricity and heat in single facility is called combined heat and power. Finally, the fuel is released by the combustion, often installed in very close proximity to the material production or storage sites. Biomass power plant can be used continually to meet electricity needs whatever the day of the year.
Colburn Energy Group Company is a leading developer of power plant in Asia. Maju Intel Biomass Energy is one of the company that have the best access to the technology in Biomass Developer. This company was located in Perak, utilized as palm oil waste material called empty food bunches or EFB, which is to generate electricity for national grid line. Why use green energy? Globally, conventional fuels are depleting, thus social pressure on government and country to raising new idea to use green energy to produce electricity. Malaysia Small Renewable Energy Program SREV, Initiative to Support Renewable Energy Sector Maju Intan Recipient in Green Technology Financing Skill and Incentive from the Sustainable Energy Development Authority Malaysia In line with National Biomass Strategy 2020, Tenaga Nasional has signed agreement to produce electricity generated by renewable energy from Maju Intan Biomass. This makes Maju Intan commercially and environmentally sustainable. This idea is from 2010, followed by comprehensive analysis to evaluate the availability, regulatory support and financing criteria from investment project. The selected site was aligned with governmental and environmental regulation while taking into account production efficiency and control standard. At community level, management set up public forums, meeting rooms and hearing feedback from local to ensuring the support for BMS pipeline project. Design for 12.5 MW generation electricity allow export electricity up to 10 MW to Tenaga Nasional with the billion 2.5 MW to the plan on use. In 2012, Maju Intan BMS successfully registered as carbon reduction project. Thank you.